Hi, I'm Austin, and your videos probably look like shit, so I'm here to help you fix your videos so they don't look like ass. The first thing you want to do is download MadVR and install it. There are different tutorials online of how to install it. I use uh, MadVR in um, Media Player Classic. So that's what I'm using today, Media Player Classic, and this is how to make MadVR look fucking insane and make all your videos look better. So if you have a very low quality video or a video that's below 7 uh, 720p or a video that is at 720p you want your videos to look better if you have a 1080p video uh, these settings won't make too much of a difference but they will make a difference and you'll notice it on a 4k screen like uh, the screen that I'm using right now for recording purposes so what happens when you get mad VR you have a lot of settings turned off all right it's not gonna make your like it's not gonna make your videos look amazing it's not gonna do anything for you so what you want to do is you want to go into MadVR settings. There's going to be a little thing down here in the bottom. Click on it. Go to MadVR. Uh, make sure that your media player is actually using MadVR. You might have to go into the settings and actually enable MadVR inside of your uh, thing. But once you get MadVR to work, these settings are for you. So you want to go in here. You want to open processing and open the scaling algorithms screen. You want to go to Chroma, you want to set this to soft because we're trying to hide Chroma. You're trying to make Lumia look really good, but we're trying to hide Chroma Artifact. So, 70 soft cubic. That's very, very good. Then what you want to do is, one of the biggest things that you can do for anime is actually make anime look sharper. So what did I just do there? I went to uh, Image Upscaling, and I want to go... Bilinear, you want to go to anti-aliasing NGU. So what happens here is <laughs> it's actually doubling the image and it's using super sampling to do so. So you want to always enable super sampling. You want to have Lumia doubling. So you want to go to medium. You can try it on low, you can try it on high, you can try it on any of these, but high and very high use a lot of your GPU. So if you have a slow GPU, do not use high or very high. It makes a very small difference what you do. You do, in fact, want to go to Jink, and you do, in fact, want to go to uh, Bicubic 20. So what this does is whenever you have a 4K video and you, you're not using 4K display, it will downsample the uh, image to make it look softer on your, uh, on your display. Uh, this just makes the image look better. Uh, you can do it side by side. It looks better. Um, and then you want to go all the way to the processing tab, and here is a lot of stuff that they've changed since my last video. What you want to do is you want to go to reduce banding artifacts. What this does is it reduces banding on very, very low quality video and high quality video, but mainly low quality video. You'll see banding artifacts that will be like little rays of light that are not correct representations of color. So your colors will have banding. And the colors inside of different hair and anime or whatever, that color will um, be sharp and choppy. And we want to get rid of as many artifacts as possible. Which is another thing, ringing. Ringing around, uh, around objects. So around objects, you can take away the ringing effect that happens due to super sampling and due to uh, making the video smaller. The biggest change in this whole entire thing that you want to get from this video is this. It is called Reduce Compression Artifacts. When I enable Reduced uh, Compression Artifacts, look what happens to the image. The image becomes soft, but you don't lose detail unless you go too high. If you go high enough, it will make the image look blurry, but if you keep it good, you'll get rid of all of the different artifacts inside of your video. So what I wanted to do today is just to show you that this looks insane. It looks much, much, much better with compression artifacts turned off. You're literally getting rid of compression artifacts. But after you do that, you might notice that your video is slightly, slightly blurry. So what you want to do is you want to go to Image Enhancements, and you want to go to Lumia Sharpen. So what that does is it turns up the sharpness of the image just barely so that you're not losing enough sharpness in your video so there's with it off there's with it on 
There's with it off. There's with it on. It's a slight improvement. But I just wanted to make this video for people who said, Hey, your other video is bad. No, this will literally make your videos look amazing. Doesn't matter if it's anime. Doesn't matter if it's low quality video. If it's high, high quality video, you may not see any difference. If it is very, very high quality video, you may want to mess with these settings just slightly. Um, so these are my settings. Take one last look. You want to have all of this. And your videos will now thank you. And I thank you. Leave a comment saying my voice sounds retarded. Leave a comment saying, oh, this was a great video. I just wanted to help people. And this that's what this video is for. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And have a good time watching high quality video.